Hello, thank you for watching our video today. My name is Sianyik Lim. I'm a rheumatologist at the Bone and Joint Department at Straub Clinic. Today, I'm going to discuss my review article titled Profile of Rheumatoid Mum and its Potential in the Management of Osteoporosis. In this review article, we review a new exciting medicine for the treatment of osteoporosis called Romosozma. We begin by discussing the basic science behind the drug and subsequently summarize the phase 1 to phase 3 Romosozma clinical trials. This figure shows the wind signaling pathway. Wind via canonical wind signaling leads to increased bone formation. Sclerostin is an inhibitor of the wind signaling pathway. In the presence of sclerostin, there is a decrease in bone formation and an increase in bone resorption. Romosozumab is a humanized anti-sclerostin monoclonal antibody. By inhibiting sclerostin, Romosozumab leads to a significant increase in the bone formation and a decrease in the bone resorption as seen in the figure on the right where the blue line represents bone formation and the red line represents bone resorption. This leads to an anabolic window where there is significant bone formation. In a phase 2 randomized control trial, patients with low bone mineral density were treated with one year of rumosozumab at various doses had significant gains of bone mineral density. Subcutaneous rumosozumab, 210 mg monthly, led to increases of bone mineral density that were larger than alendronate, teriparatide, and placebo. There were no major safety signals with rumosozumab use. In a phase 3 randomized control trial, Subcutaneous Romosozumab, 210mg monthly for a year, reduced vertebral fractures by 73% when compared to placebo. Sequential therapy with tenosumab in the second year reduced vertebral fractures by 75% as compared to the group that received placebo in year 1 and tenosumab in year 2. We hope this article will help increase your understanding of robosozumab and its potential in the treatment of osteoporosis.